All right, YouTube, this is Sunday, the 28th of what, November? It's about to be December. You still have a month to get started on your New Year's journey. Um, hey, I've been talking about New Year's forever, so don't think I'm just starting to tell you right now. It's only a month, so that really ain't that. No, man, I've been telling people, man, don't wait until New Year's. New Year's not a magical day. Anything that you can change your life on New Year's, you can change today. You can change any day. It can be July 29th or something. It doesn't matter. If you feel like you need a change in your life, don't wait. You know what I'm saying? Haste makes waste. You know, just think about all the um, all the information you can be learning before then. Even though it's only about, what, four or five weeks away. Hey, man, four or five weeks, if you're listening to the right people, if you feel like I'm the right person you should be listening to, hey, at the end of the day, you're listening to the right people, you're going to get some knowledge. You know what I'm saying? You're going to make some progress. You know what I'm saying? You're going to start off on the right foot. Stop trying to teach yourself. When I first started and when I first got successful at my fitness, meaning losing a lot of, I lost 55 pounds this year. Um, the way I did that is, uh, the way I learned how to successfully get fit is to understand that I didn't understand. Then I started to understand. Not this year. I've been lifting for like eight years. You know what I'm saying? I've broken cut. Um, I've made, I had ups, downs, fall downs, fall backs. Um, I've had it all. You know what I'm saying? But I always tell people, man, do not wait, man. Do not wait. Understand that you don't understand. That's the biggest part. You know what I'm saying? Stop trying to teach yourself. Stop having to blind lead the blind. You know, you might start working out uh, with a workout partner who also started working out. There, it makes no sense for y'all to teach each other because y'all don't. Neither one of y'all don't know. You know what I'm saying? If neither one of y'all know how to lift, how are y'all teaching each other how to lift? If neither one of y'all ever lost a lot of weight, how are you teaching? Why are you listening to people who never lost weight? That is not bashing. I used to weigh 275 pounds. I'm 160 right now. Oh, I thought you said you lost 50 pounds. Dude, this is over years, you know? When you turn on this video right here, I didn't just start to exist. People that make videos, we got lives too, just over here. I just found out about you, so that just means you just... Dog, dog, what world you live in, man? Chill out. Uh, <laughs> but where I'm going right now, I'm going to the gym. And lately, I've just been on information instead of... Instead of showing y'all my workouts, I've been on just giving y'all the information that you need. I'm not a motivational channel, but I've been giving people motivation lately. I usually just go in the gym, all right, I'm about to lift weights. Show y'all me lifting weights. I got plenty of videos on how to lift weights, how to deadlift, how to bench press, how to uh, squat, how to type in rep and time fitness, how to. I've been, I got like 1,700 videos, so at the end of the day, if you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, um, leave a comment, share the video every piece of way that you can, word of mouth, or social media platforms, YouTube, uh, community tab, whatever, but we gonna get into it, man. What am I sipping on right now? I'm sipping on my uh, my shaker cup with the uh, Sasquatch on it, Bigfoot. <laughs> you know, Bigfoot has been spotted, but uh, I'm sipping on Nitro Flex um, pre-workout. Um, I am not sponsored, so a lot of people are like, why would, you, why would you advertise for brands that ain't sponsored? I don't care. I tell you what I like and I tell you what works, you know what I'm saying? I'm not loyal to them either. I tell people I take other stuff, a lot of other stuff. I'll just tell you what I'm on right now. Um, so you can know what to get because when you first start it is easy to make a lot of mistakes especially when it comes to buying supplementation and I'm speaking from experience um, I'm speaking from experience buying supplements will break you if you do not know what you're doing you know what I'm saying I take supplements but I always tell people don't rely on supplements because relying on supplements especially like fat burners things like that it's not gonna do the job for you, you know what I'm saying? You you can't just take a fat burner, I don't care what fat burner you take. You can't just take a fat burner and lose fat. Trust me. How do I know that? All the mistakes that I'm speaking on that people make these days, the easy mistakes, I've made them, you know what I'm saying? I've been in this game for a year, so at the end of the day, way before I started YouTube, what, I've been posting like three years, I think. I've been lifting triple that time almost. You know what I'm saying? I've been working out triple that time almost. So 
I have experience. So, you know what I'm saying? You have to listen to somebody with experience. Eight years under my belt in the gym. Consistent. You know what I'm saying? There, there's been some inconsistencies. There's been some ups and some downs. Life happens, you know what I'm saying? I got kids. I got a job. I got things to handle. You know what I'm saying? And I'm a human being, so we fall down and we get up. But I've been all the way up lately. You ain't been watching. Yeah, hey, you've been missing. You ain't seen my physique updates. I got before and afters. I got testimonials. I got people, if you read all my comments in, in my videos, especially the ones that's really good, you will see people don't know. I didn't have I didn't have people lose 50, 75 pounds since, since I started my channel. Switching up their diets, you know what I'm saying? Telling them that over overnight things, most people think that overnight things work. Juice fasting, juice cleaning, and those are quick fixes. Those are band-aids. Do not go for band-aids. Do not go for the overnight quick fix band-aid. My last video was titled How to Lose Weight Overnight Fast. But when you clicked on it, <laughs> it told you what I'm telling you now. It does not it does not happen overnight. You didn't put the weight on overnight, you're not gonna get the weight off overnight. It's not gonna happen like that. You're not gonna get the weight off overnight. Fat is literally something that's literally in your body that you have to get off of. And it's not easy. You know what I'm saying? It's it's easy if you look at it the way I look at it. But it's not easy if you look at it as the way of, I'm going to beat all this fat off me and I'm going to ha, 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 You know what I'm saying? Do not go from not working out at all to working out as hard as the hardest person in the gym is working out that's been in there. You know what I'm saying? I always tell people, don't even work out as hard as I work out. Don't do it. Because you're going to burn yourself out early and for, uh, for one. And then for two, you don't really know how to do the lifts. You can swallow your pride listen you do not know if you haven't done it you don't know how to do it you don't just get on the bench and just start doing like this there are more there's more to it there's more to get in, into your proper form you know what i'm saying and i teach that you know what i'm saying you don't even know how to retract your scalpel you shouldn't even be benching as hard as you possibly can it's not about testing your strength it's about it's not about getting the weight from point a to point b it ain't about picking it up and putting it down. It's about what you do in between. You know what I'm saying? It's not about the weight. It's about your body. The weight is just an extension to your body. Like um, a ninja is using a sword. You know what I'm saying? He's not focused on the sword. He's focused on the body. The, the, the sword is an extension to his arm. You know what I'm saying? I can reach you better and slice you up with this dang sword. You know what I'm saying? If that makes any sense. But he's moving his body as in if he didn't have the sword in his hand in the first place you know what i'm saying that's what a real good lifter does learn how to lift with light weight you can learn how to lift with no weight you know what i'm saying practice your squat form with either the lightest weight you can have or with no weight at all you can do body weight squats and just work your way up you know what i'm saying um you you need that progressive overload you need to get start start at the bottom Stop jumping the gun. Don't start at the bottom and, you know, bottom, now we here real quick, 100, 0 to 100. Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? You don't get in karate and be a white belt, then a black belt tomorrow. You don't do that. Stop jumping the gun. You have to understand that you don't understand. You know what I'm saying? It's learning. Just because you're grown doesn't mean you have don't have to learn. Just because you're out of school doesn't mean you don't have to learn anymore doesn't mean you know everything just because you're smart and something else if this is brand new to you you don't know trust me if you're a beginner and you're you're disagreeing with everything i'm saying right now you are in a stage that i used to be in i was stuck in i wasted years because i was stuck in it and what do i call it me personally i call it the uh -uh stage when you're a beginner and you're going to say uh -uh to everything there's people who say uh oh -uh, that ain't how you do it when it comes to counting calories Counting calories don't work? You crazy. I don't know what world you live in. I don't know what world you live in. And I don't know how you count your calories. Because at the end of the day, if you don't know how many calories you personally need, you and me, we're two different people. We got two different activity levels. We're two different size people. I'm a muscular guy. You might say, you're not that big. I'm natural. See, you don't even understand. If you don't even understand that, you 
need to hear what I'm saying. Understand that you don't understand. There's too many grown people tripping. You're going to waste years. I know plenty of people who have been in trying to get fit for 15, 20 years and, and, and not bashing them. I'm just saying they, they don't learn. There's two types of people in the gym that I know. The people that do and don't learn and the ones who learn but don't do. There's so many people that have the knowledge to do something, but they don't have their hands on experience because they don't actually do it. They go in there and start talking about it. Yeah, I heard this and I read this. I always tell people, man, if you watch my videos and you, and you learn anything from it, you know, you don't have to do exactly the things I say to do, but at the end of the day, do something. Get up. You know what I'm saying? Get up. Knowing what to do ain't gonna get you there. Talking about it, this is not a, this is not a game show. People be tripping, man. This is not a game show. You do not get results from, from ding, 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 the right answer. Or ding, 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 that's the right answer. Ding, ding, that, that, that. You got to do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's so many people I know that be having sound plans. They be having good plans. They tell me their plan. Yeah. Sounds good. You know, I switch this up here and switch that up there. I'm always going to put my input in it. But um, they'll never do it. Then they say it don't work. You ain't do it. Did you do it? Did you do it? I don't believe in keto, but I know a lot of people that do keto, and, and, and yeah, I'm doing keto right now, and they be stuffing their face as they're speaking to me with carbs, <laughs> which I love carbs. I eat carbs. Check my diet plan. I don't cut out food, man. I don't villainize food. Um, what I do is I make sure I get my set amount of calories and my set amount of protein every day to build muscle, keep muscle, and to get in my caloric deficit or my caloric surplus, whether I'm trying to lose weight or gain weight. That's why I always tell people finding your maintenance calories is the number one thing, man. People will, people want this overnight fix. They don't want to, they hear the word slow and steady route or lose a pound or two a week. You know what I'm saying? People don't want to do that. You're going to waste way more years trying to do the overnight fixes. You're going to waste way more years. Everybody that I know that did that or tries that, they they never lose weight or either if they do lose weight, they put it right back on. Take the show The Biggest Loser, by the way. I'm not dissing anybody, but I'm just saying what happens to the people after they get off the show? Because you could teach a man to fish, he'll eat for the day. No. You can give him a fish, he'll eat for the day. I always be saying that, but I always say it wrong. You can give him a fish. Ah, thank you for this fish. He eat it. Mm. He'll not a fish, though, so his next fish has to be from you again. He's going to come to you and beg you for a fish. He's going to keep begging. He's going to be like, man, this dude, man, keep begging me for fish. But if you teach him how to fish, he can go get his own fish. That's what my channel's about. I'm trying to teach you how to teach yourself. Um... A wise man that I really didn't like. We mean him didn't see eye to eye, but he I already knew this saying, I already knew it, but he 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 embedded it in my head a little bit. People that I don't like always give me some that's why I'm I'm ears, man. I'm ears. Yo, shut your mouth and open your ears. That ain't what he said, that's what I'm saying. Yo, you gotta listen. Stop stop trying to teach things you don't know. But he said that um your job needs to be trying to work yourself out of a job. Right now, on this channel, I'm going to try to work myself out of a job. You, whoever's watching me, you're not going to need me in six months. I'm right for time fitness. Thanks for the help. Thanks for getting me where I need to get. I don't need you no more. I know all your stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to give you all my stuff. Then you can refer me to a friend or whoever. Or you can just steal my information and then act like you made it. Don't do that. Don't, I'll call you out. I'll call you out. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, none of us but like, man, dog, man, for real, man. I'm just trying to give you the bread and butter. I'm trying to give you the fundamentals. You know what I'm saying? A basketball game, and I'm referring to other things, but I'm, I'm, I'm saying this so you can relate. A basketball game isn't won by tricks. Yes, some basketball players are flashier than others and this and that and the third, but they're not won by tricks. Anybody that's familiar with basketball, we can compare, okay, the NBA, the Globe Trotters and and one mixtapes. Anyone that remember those? Those was dope back in the days. They had dope beats, dope rhymes, you know, with some dope basketball trickery moves. You know, you had hot sauce and all that dude named Hot Sauce. But you had man, dude, I forget all of them. But um, yeah, 
I mean, I used to be big into watching that, man. Man, that they had one mixtape. But I'm just saying, like, what happened to that? But what, um, what I'm saying is this, man. That wouldn't work in a real basketball game. You know what I'm saying? Half of the stuff they doing will be traveling. A lot of people see those flashy skills and think that that person is the best. You know what I'm saying? No, that wouldn't work in the NBA. You know what I'm saying? The NBA is a whole different game. It's hardcore. You know what I'm saying? Glow trotters. A lot of that stuff they be doing is traveling, man. And those are tricks. That, that That's set up. That's the same thing in the gym. Like, okay, if you ain't doing the bread and butter moves, if you ain't doing the things that work, you want to do tricks like muscle ups. You know what I'm saying? Muscle ups, I'm not saying muscle, I'm not saying muscle ups don't build muscle and strength. They do. I, I really believe.